Hey everyone, this is Seth with the World of Paleoanthropology. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about Homo naledi. This is the skull of Neo, the only male that we know of that was found in any of the chambers because according to all of the dentition or the teeth that we found, we believe that all of the Homo naledi belong to one sex, which would most likely be female aside from Neo here. Now, what I really wanted to talk about today was a paper that came out in Nature by uh, Ber Bernard Wood et al. about kind of where Naledi's been over the last 10 years since it was discovered in 2013. And it's kind of perfect because right now there was this significant conference that went on. Um, it was a private conference where it was invite only where Lee and a lot of the team and a lot of new people, a lot of new members, and a lot of people were talking about what was going on and planning things for the next decade of research and Rising Star. And so we're gonna talk about that a little bit today. Behind me, you can see what we believe are some engravings by Homo Naledi. This could be easily what we call elephant dolomite or naturally occurring marks on the rock however who knows what else could be down there we also know that there's iron age archaeology in rising stars so we know that that's something that's going on so it's not just homo naledi 300,000 years ago but the story of homo naledi is a very interesting one and it's one that it's going to take decades more of research to find out what's going on with these small brain hominins whether they buried their dead or had some other form of funerary practice, it's very important to remember that burial is a very specific term. It literally means digging a hole in the ground, placing something in it, and replacing the dirt. Homo naledi may have placed their dead in Rising Star, as we can see, because the way that the bones are found on top of the soil and how they're almost not even fossilized is extraordinarily strange considering how old they are and where they're found in South Africa. It's not like what we see in other caves in the region. Now, there's so much that happened during this last week of field work that I can't exactly talk about, and it'll come out in the future and we'll talk about it when we can, but just know that the story of Homo naledi is going to continue to get more interesting, more intriguing, and more complex. It's important that I also think the team is finally going to start pulling back some of the ideas that they've said, or at least start providing more concrete evidence towards what they've said. It's important that we remember that what has come out has been preprint so far, it has not been peer-reviewed, and actual peer-reviewed papers have come out claiming that Homo naledi did not bury their dead sediment at all sedimentologically or however you say that sorry guys but we don't know what they did there are 15 individuals down there in the dinaletti chamber at least and that means something whatever it is we are going to find out or we're going to do our best because that is what science is the journey to find the truth about a situation so how this little guy homo naledi fits into our human evolutionary story we will try to find out and there's so much more to learn there always will be and we'll figure it out once we can but for now like subscribe and if you want to know more about homo naledi there's plenty of videos on my youtube channel and i plan on doing more on tiktok so stay tuned see you later